Greetings and welcome friends, Mr. Wadi here. We were talking about factoring special products and yesterday we were specifically looking at the perfect square trinomial pattern, which is this, a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus or minus b all squared. All right. And uh, in order to match this pattern, my first term and my last term must be perfect squares. And the middle term must equal two times my a and b, where a and b are just the square roots of those terms is essentially the way we think about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is check whether or not the first and last terms are perfect squares. So for uh, this first one, uh, my a would have been the p. And my b, perhaps you don't know this, this might be a calculator problem right here. Hit the square root, second square root of 225, and you get 15. So that's a perfect square. Now the question is, is this equal to 2ab, right? Is 2ab question mark equal to 30p? So let's plug in uh, our hypothetical a and b. So 2 times a, nope, 2 times p times 15 is that 30p and 2 times 15 is in fact 30p so that works out because it passed the the one test the two test and the three test that means i can now plug in a and b for this pattern uh, this formula this po uh, polynomial has a positive b term so i'm going to use the positive version of the pattern and i'm just going to do uh, a plus b all squared so that's for us p plus 15 all squared like so all right 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 let me uh let me do another one of those we'll do a few today it'll be good so let's see what would my a have been it's an m because m squared is m squared b what squared is 144 that's 12 check the 2ab is 2 times m times 12 equal to 24m question mark question mark and it is da, 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 da. hooray so let's plug it in the pattern this case happens to be a plus pattern again so it's going to be a plus b all squared which for us is m plus 12 all squared fast factored which by the way squaring a binomial is the same as if i did write m plus 12 times m plus 12 because squaring something means to multiply it by itself let's see that's going to come in handy for this problem when i'm asked to nah that's weird i put the wrong directions up here <laughs> let's see this should say solve solve a because there's an equal zero here so i'm going to find the values of s that make this equation true and because this is a second degree polynomial uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure it's equal to zero it is I'm going to factor it if possible and then set those factors equal to zero using what was referred to as the zero product property all right and oh wait a minute before I factor this finding the factors of C that add to B I think this is a pattern conveniently being in this section about factoring patterns where a it would have been s and b would have been well what squared is 100 that's 10 and is the middle equal to 2ab well 2 times s which looks like a 5 uh times 10 is that question mark equal to 20s and 2 times 10 is 20 with an s it works out friends Ching ching so therefore, I can use the pattern a plus b all squared. Uh, so let's see. So s plus 10 all squared is equal to 0. You don't have to write this step if you're familiar with what squaring means. But perhaps it'll help some of us just making sure we know what's going on. Uh, I have two things that multiply to be zero, therefore one of them must be zero. And these are identical twins, so I don't really, I don't have to solve both of these. Same thing, I'll just write ditto. Uh, and then solve by subtracting 10 from both sides. Do, 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 do. That looks like a 16. And there we go. Uh, S equals negative 10. Right, right. 
All right. There we go. Uh, last problem is a little bit trickier, where it is not uh, factorable in its... It's not a pattern in its current form. And when we are factoring, if I just... Because, I mean, so far we've been giving you problems that are all related to the section that we're in. All right, but on the test, it's just going to say factor, and then you've got to know which strategy you're going to use. And it is always the best thing to do to check to see if you can yoink, yoink, yoink first, because that's going to make all of your numbers smaller. And between 8, 80, and 200, I believe I can steal an 8 from all of those. Let's see. So I'm going to do that. So 8 times, and now it's going to be a trinomial because this was a trinomial, a three-termed expression. We'll find out. Uh, 8 times, what is 8k squared? That's k squared. 8 times 10k would have been 80k. And 8 times, what is 200? Well, 4 goes into 100 25 times, so I think the answer is 25. My logic, I failed to be able to explain why 4 going into 100. All right, and then 8, uh, 200 is twice as much, and so 25 would go into 200 twice as many times as 4 goes into 100. I don't know. I almost said it right. I failed, though. My brain did the division in my head. So 200 divided by 8. Uh, you could have done 200 divided by 4. Uh, or actually, let's do it this way. 200 divided by 8 is the same as 200 divided by 2, which is uh, 100, right? And 100 divided by 4 is 25. There we go. All right, whatever. Lots of different ways you can do math in your head. I guess not all of those ways I'm good at describing. Uh, crazy Mr. Wadi. So, uh, this appears to be a pattern where A is equal to the K and the B like Brandon was saying, was Cinco, and the question is, is 2 times my A and my hypothetical B here, is that equal to 10K? 10K. And uh, 10K is equal to 10K verified. Oh, that was supposed to be a question mark. That one's the verified. Two times K times five. Uh, you would do the 2 times the 5 is 10, and then the k is still hanging out. Uh, so let's see, 8 still on the outside is uh, being multiplied by a plus b all squared, which in our case is k plus 5. All right. So very good, mis amigos. Thank you for watching. 8 minutes and 8 seconds, and I, my goal was 10. Did it!